Hey everybody, here's a little video about some of the jigs that I made for the Allen Mogul. First is this piece of wood that I used for the equalizing springs. As you can see, I just there's the outline of the equalizing springs. They all have to get drilled in certain spots. And so I made this little jig with some plywood and there's some uh, nuts on the back side just that holds it in place. This jig over here is a little stand I made to hold the axle before I turned the wheels, um, hold the chassis up in the air, and um, help me with some of the assembly. That was pretty neat just having it sit up there for a long time. You can see the chassis and the and the axles and, and all that kind of stuff. So um, next thing let me show you here, these are some aluminum, adjustable aluminum guides. Um, forget exactly what you call them but we used them I used I made these up and used them to fit over on the drivers and um, the driving lugs and then you can adjust there's slots here so I could adjust and get the exact right fit and then I knew the exact distance to make when it came to making the um, making the, the side rods and so that was very handy and it was neat that I could put these on you know and um, make sure there was no binding so that's a handy thing when you have a, a six-wheeler I appreciate Fred telling me about making those it's just some cheap in, one inch by a quarter inch aluminum pieces that I use here once we got the timing actually set much later on um, I used I saved the distance on the of the trammel points on here and wrote it down and just so, so I've got that in case we ever need, need to set the timing again. Speaking of the side rods, here is a little um, jig that I made. It's a piece of angle iron. It's probably 2 inch by 3 16 inch angle iron that I machined it so that it's a good 90 degree and even machined the inside here. And then I you know, milled it and then I, I could put it in the, in the vise on the milling machine and I use these straps to hold down the side rods while I machined them and and it was a that's a handy piece of gear right there so I just drilled and tapped on the inside as you can see this actually was a piece of the old um, bumper for the old pickup truck I used to have a farmer's uh, homemade bumper that he had on the bed I cut it off and saved it all those years I can tell by the white paint on, on the inside there so Never throw anything away, especially if it's a heavy duty and potentially useful like that. Here's a little jig I made. Well, let me go in order more for it. Back to the uh, making of the eccentrics. I made up jigs like this in various places to hold eccentrics. And um, then this one is for the eccentric straps. And it, I put blocks here. I think I must have just crazy glued that on there. And then I had these so I could hold it down, but it held it in place while I used a boring tool to uh, bore out the center of the eccentric. Speaking of the eccentrics, here's another tool that I made for machining them. And you can see it's deep enough to hold the, um, the smaller part. And let's see, over here, this is a little jig I made for um, the brake shoes. So you have to machine the brake shoes. Um, I would cleaned off the back side of them and then I could hold the hold this in place to machine the um, inside of the wheel or as the brake shoes to the um, wheel diameter so this is a little scrap of aluminum and let's see, here's another little scrap of aluminum that I made in a, uh, a jig for the brake cylinders this so I drilled the lids the tops of the brake cylinders and the um, and the body of them so that they all all the drills matched so there's a handy little jig there and let's see i guess finally just later on in making of the uh the smoke box this is just a jig for making laying out you can just set this on you clamp it in place and then you can use it as, as a drill guide when you have to machine a part that doesn't fit neatly inside the in a milling machine or vice same thing with this. I bent this um, piece of steel and drilled. Well, I drilled the holes in it first, and then I bent it and um, into shape. I used this for drilling the holes in the smoke box. There's probably some videos about that. So 
there you have it those are my jigs there was a few more that i used when making the tender and probably i'll do another separate video about that later on but i hope that's helpful to anybody who's building an allen mobile thanks for watching i'll keep you posted